Hey guys, Lamarza here coming at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I'm just going to be explaining to you how to win champion training tournaments. So we just had the champion training tournament that just ended recently. Uh, I did in fact win mine. I actually gained about 10,000 points in the last three hours to overtake everyone that was in it. So first place there, got some relentless gear, got a really nice speed boots for my Raglan. But I'm going to explain to you how you can win these champion training events, how you can also double dip and do your champion training tournaments at the exact same time as well. So you see how this one started basically the last day of the event. So you can see that I gained 10,000 points in one day. I'm going to give you five tips so that you can actually do a lot better in champion training events and tournaments because there's a lot of information out there and this will help you get a lot more points and a lot more bang for your buck. So first of all, be prepared for champion training events. Um, I had a ton of rares in my vault. Um, I have dozens of it here. So it works very well to be doing a champion training event after a 2x ancient pull, after void pulls, after any sort of summoning event it's great to do a champion training because as you'll see here none of my champions are at level one so you're going to be using all that food even if champions you've never used before you're going to be using them to get points and why are you going to be using every source of food because you get points every single time you level someone up so right now i'm currently at so 10 685 so i'm just going to write that down so every single time you level someone up, you're going to get points and it's going to tell you here the exact amount of points that you get per level. So this is leading into the second thing is never level up a champion with food that is level one. That is the biggest mistake people make and that's the biggest reason why people don't understand how to get tens of thousands of points in champion training events. So for example, if we want to level up someone from four star to five star, you're going to get 100 points for doing that but also every single food so you're going to have four foods every single food if you don't level them up you gain nothing let's say if you leveled them up to 22 so that's 66 points per uh food so that's but that's basically 224 points right there that you'd be missing out on if you do not level up your food and it's an even bigger thing if you don't level up your food when you are trying to upgrade someone from level five to six because it's twice as much. So it's almost 500 points that you're missing out on. Actually, even more because there's five people. So if you wanted to level up someone from five to six and if you don't use any of your food, you're missing out on... Jesus, you're missing out on almost a thousand points by not leveling up any of your food. So that's the biggest thing that you should take away from this is that you need to level up your food. I'm just gonna pop something up on screen here. So you take your level twos, when you're ranking up your level 20s, you're gonna take two foods and you're gonna just run them through 12-3 once. And that if you have the raid pass, that'll take them to level seven. And if you don't, it'll take them to level six. Um, and if you're leveling someone from three stars to four stars, you're gonna, take all the food and you're gonna run them through 12-3 twice and that should take them to level 10-11 depending if you have raid pass or not. Uh, and same thing for level fours. If you're leveling up four stars to five stars, you wanna take the level four food probably about five or six times through 12-3. You just wanna get them to about 19. Usually I stop when they stop gaining two levels per run. And last but not least, for level fives, I don't run them through 12-3. That's where your brews come in handy. Uh, I usually you just use about six brews on each one, and that usually brings them about to level 23. And so you have made a six star now. This is where it comes in handy in tournaments. Events, it doesn't matter. Events, you are the only one competing. Tournaments are completely different because you're against everyone else. So tournaments, you have to be very careful and watch your opponents and see what they're doing. I, for the last two hours of this tournament, I was making sure that number one and number two at the time on the leaderboards scores were not moving. So I knew I could push and I probably blew way over. I could have literally just beat this guy by one point. I wasted actually more resources than I needed to. So yeah, big tip is make sure you are watching your opponents and whether or not they are still pushing points. 
So it's really good if you notice in the past two or three last two or three hours there you haven't gained any points. And if you start pushing and you stay like two or three thousand points away and then they start pushing up, um, you have to make the decisions and then if you're gonna keep going or to see how many more points they're gonna go. Um, literally the last five minutes are huge in a champion training event if you are very close to each other because in five minutes you could gain 2,000, 3,000 points if you have not leveled up any of your six stars at all. So the biggest thing to save your resources on in the first couple days, just level up your threes to four stars, your fours to fives, and or keep um, your four stars at level 40, your five stars at level 50. See where you're at in the tournament, and that's when you decide whether you want to push or not. Calculate how many points you're going to be getting based on uh, ranking your champions up and also the food that, that they were going to be become and then ranking them up as well. So in the last five minutes, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking all of your six stars that you've made throughout the tournament and in like the last hour, and you're just going to be tossing brews into them. So I believe I tossed 12 brews into him, 12 brews into him, 12 brews into her, and that got them to level 32. And those were the three six stars that I made with the tournament. I'm basically focusing on Faction Wars right now. Um, and then also, in like the last couple hours before then, just any rares that you haven't used at all, run them through two times. Throw a couple brews in them. Um, it's super important that you are just gaining points and not wasting any opportunities. All right, uh, so this has been another Raid Shadow Legends Guide. If you enjoy this content, toss us a like. And if you want to see more, toss us a sub.